Well, get ready to stroll down the middle of the street. Tomorrow is the second annual Philly Free Streets event. Roads will close to vehicular traffic from 5th and in Indiana and in Fairhill to 3rd and Chestnut in Old City. And that's where Natasha Brown joins us tonight. She's taking it to the streets. Natasha. <laughs> I know it's going to feel so freeing tomorrow, Yuki. We can only imagine once we get out here what we're going to see. Obviously, we're not going to see any cars. That's the whole point of tomorrow's Philly Free Streets. Here at 3rd and Chestnut, this is going to be one of the staging areas. We're seeing some of the city officials, the water department here already setting up the stage that is ultimately going to be here right in the middle of the street. This year, Philly Free Streets is taking on a bit of a different twist. It's going through a lot more neighborhoods throughout the city of Philadelphia. The signs are up. The streets have been cleared of parked cars. The path is clear for Philly free streets on Saturday. Staying true to the mayor's commitment to neighborhoods, we're really excited to try this somewhere different, connecting a number of diverse neighborhoods. From 8 a.m. until 1 p.m., a three and a half mile stretch from Philadelphia's historic district at 3rd and Chestnut, north to 5th and Indiana, El Centro de Oro, in the heart of Latino Philadelphia. No cars will be allowed, only pedestrians and bike traffic will be welcomed. It's going to be a really fun day. Last year we saw kids in strollers, we saw people in wheelchairs, we saw elderly. Everyone comes out to the streets. It's a really fun, safe place to be when there aren't any cars on it, and we really look forward to seeing the magic that happens. Last year, parts of the city came to a standstill for Philly Free Streets, with folks walking, stopping to absorb the moment, taking in their environment. I think it'll be great. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for people to bike in the streets, to push their baby prams in the street, walk, uh, not be, not worry about traffic. I think it's fabulous to get everybody out in the streets and everybody together. It's wonderful. Still, some residents have mixed feelings about the disruption to their normal way of life in their neighborhood. They're opening the streets. It's new. It's different. Let's see what happens. Like, we'll just see what happens. Okay. Like I have positive feelings. I have negative feelings, but we'll just we'll go from there. Well, right now you can see some of the traffic that's kind of been whizzing by us here at 3rd and Chestnut. That's going to all come to a screeching halt at 6 a.m. tomorrow. That is when they're going to shut down all the streets that will be along the path of Philly Free Streets. And the mayor will be here welcoming everyone starting at 8 a.m. There's going to be a party around 5th and Indiana at the other part of the block here, three and a half miles or so away. So really a lot going on, Yuki. We should come out here. Think about it. A whole lot <laughs> well, going here on. In Old City yeah. tonight. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News. I don't know. 8 a.m. Uh, we we'll get you some like roller skates or something. <laughs> that, that'll Maybe work. Maybe noon. I don't know. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks, Natasha.